You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, and stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, everybody, welcome to Daytime Tea Time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. Okay, so let's get right on into it, you guys. We're about to talk about Miss Wendy Williams again. Yes, we're talking about Wendy Williams again because y'all know how she likes it. She keeps her name in the media so that we can keep talking about her. Her show is on hiatus. It won't be back till September 16th. So she's doing a press run so that we can keep talking about her. Challenge accepted, let's talk about it. So Wendy Williams did a recent interview with Sway and it was actually a very good interview in that it was entertaining. She talked about the things that we wanted to talk about. I didn't believe most of what she was saying, but it was entertaining. While Wendy Williams was talking to Sway, she took that opportunity y'all to clap back at a lot of the rumors that's been out about her lately. Rumors about her show being canceled, rumors about her still working with Kelvin, and rumors about her having a relapse. She clapped back and told her side of things, which I don't believe all the way, but I'm gonna explain to you guys what I think she lied about. But first, let's listen to exactly what Wendy Williams had to say. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. You know, I don't hate Kev, but we're not working together on anything but a divorce. Okay. The house is on the market. The show is not canceled. Uh -huh. The employees are not fleeing the scene from the happiest place to work. I lead with kindness. You know what I'm saying? I, I am not sick. Okay. You know, I am not relapsing. Okay. Or, nor have I. Um, the single mother part. How do y'all have y'all worked out? How you gonna deal with uh, raising your son? Or no, you and, and Kev? Me and Big? Yeah. Um, no. No? No. Too soon? Th there are no divorce papers to be ready to be signed yet. Okay. Sway. Okay. I'm just, you know, Wendy, I'm, you know. Well, don't you read the blogs? Come on, I fire don't. off those questions. Don't. I don't. All right, well, Heather, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I clear up over here? Okay, so there's no divorce papers. Being no, I, I want a divorce, like, yesterday. Okay. I want a divorce, like, two months ago, mm -hmm. three months ago, whenever I found out four months ago okay i want a divorce and i want to be friends with kevin big mm. okay big. i mean and not that's, because that's... we have a son mm -hmm. but because that's that's that was real love mm -hmm. i still love him just not in that way mm -hmm. you know you're either in or you're out with me and you know but i i i i still have love for him and i wish him the best in his new life with his new family yeah um but yeah, candy. No, I'm not crying. Okay. Yeah, good. okay. Oh, you thought I was going to cry? I don't know. She, 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 she didn't have you a candy right No, because I was going to laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Protect the candy. <laughs> okay, so y'all heard that Wendy Williams said what she said. Wendy alleges that her show is not being canceled. Staff members are not running out the door. She's not working with her husband, Kevin. Kelvin, how you doing? She never relapsed, and she wishes Kelvin Hunter and his baby and his baby mama the best. First of all, I don't know why Sway didn't ask her, but if you're working on a divorce, how are there no divorce papers? Make it make sense. Now there was a little bit of truth in there, but most of that was a lie in my humble opinion. Cause y'all know Wendy Williams does not tell the truth. I'm sorry. She has had a history of lying when it comes to her personal life. It's some sort of weird story going around the internet regarding my husband. Now look, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. All you gotta do is Google him and you see the story. You can believe what you want, but all is well in Hunterville. Don't believe the hype. And if there was hype, believe me, you. I would let you know. I'm telling y'all, ever since Wendy Williams talking about everything is good in Hunterville, talking about believe me, you. Ever since that episode and I watched her tell a bold faced lie to all of us, I just don't believe most of what she says. I'm just saying. And it's just human nature. You don't want people all up in your business, but if they're gonna be all up in your business, you control the narrative. So congratulations, Wendy. But I see you. We see each other. We see each other. In my opinion, I do believe that Wendy Williams relapsed. What drug she used, I do not know. But why would you be going to a sober house if you didn't relapse? She says she went there to think, but people go on vacation to think, okay? They go up to a cabin to think. They go in their prayer closet to think, not to a sober house. So I think she lied about that part. Number two, her health. I do believe that she suffers from more than what she's telling us. But she can't be completely honest about her health because she has to prove to everybody who's putting money into the Wendy Williams show that she is not a liability so we will never know the real truth about her health the limit
lymphedema is about it, but she's not gonna tell us the real real because she doesn't want people to not invest in her. I do believe that she is sick, but she's not gonna tell us. She went to see Dr. Savy, he put her on a very good diet, so she's maintaining her health, but I believe she is sick. Collapsing on live TV, that was not overheating in my opinion. And the main thing that came out of Wendy Williams' mouth that I personally did not believe was when she talked about two, three, or four months ago when she found out, that's when she wanted a divorce. She's referring to Sharina Hudson and her having the baby and all of that. A few months ago is when we all found out about that baby. But I'm telling y'all, Wendy Williams been new about that baby, okay? In my opinion. Just so you guys don't think I'm just talking, let me give y'all some receipts, okay? Before it was actually proven that Sharina Hudson had had her baby, love B. Scott was the first to put it out there that Sharina Hudson was pregnant in the first place. Shout out to Love B. Scott. Y'all know I'm a loyal love muffin over here. E love muffins is B. Scott. So yeah, B. Scott put out a story saying that he had sources that told him that Sharina Hudson was pregnant. B. Scott also put it out there exclusively that Wendy Williams was allegedly being physically abused by Kelvin Hunter. And when he put that story out, Wendy Williams quickly sent her lawyers after him and sent a cease and desist, basically saying that B. Scott was lying. LoveBscott.com came through with the exclusive tea and Wendy Williams was not here for it. Wendy Williams' lawyer sent LoveBscott.com a cease and desist demanding a retraction. They want the story completely removed because Wendy Williams claims that it's 100% false that her man has a side chick that's pregnant. He even was super shady letting us know that the cease and desist had typos, okay? <laughs> As you can see, the website title is exclusive Wendy Williams show future uncertain. Plus, her lawyer sends us a cease and desist demanding a retraction. Okay, so below it reads, her lawyer sent us a cease and desist letter the day after Christmas with typos. <laughs> <laughs> demanding a retraction for our previous exclusive about her alleged self-medication and rumors of her husband Kevin having a mistress that's pregnant. Okay, so they said the letter states that both Mrs. Wendy Williams Hunter and Kevin Hunter categorically deny each and every allegation made by your sources. Then B. Scott goes forward to say, Wendy Williams has also denied in the past that her husband even has a mistress, even though the Daily Mail conducted a year-long investigation and came back with photos of Kevin and this woman. Wendy Williams also admitted to medicating and apologized to fans for the adverse effect it had during her interview last week. According to Radar Online, Wendy can barely stand at times and her friends say there's a major problem. So this is not just our sources. And here's where B. Scott is so petty and messy and I was here for it. Okay, so he says, whatever's going on, we hope that Wendy's getting the medical attention she needs. We also find it super hypocritical that a woman who frequently uses our exclusive tea about others as hot topics for her show wants to send cease and desist letters when the tea is about her. How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Listen, and that's why I love me some B. Scott, okay? But listen, B. Scott is not lying. Anybody who watches Wendy Williams knows that she often says, according to love B. Scott, well, according to love B. Scott, according to love B. Scott, according to love B. Scott, love B. Scott. And so if you don't know about B. Scott, he is very reliable, okay? He's been in this business for a very long time. He is not known for putting out lies, clout chasing, or anything like that. If he puts out something, it's because he has receipts or a very reliable source told him something. He don't just put out some mess. And that's the real reason that Wendy Williams sent him a cease and desist because she knew it was true. And she wanted him to take that story down because we were going to believe it because B. Scott put it out. You know, we have literally, we have dropped at least like six exclusives. Mm. We have been hitting these hoes upside their head. In the last week. In the last week. We have been hitting people with exclusive after exclusive after exclusive after exclusive. My Instagram being taken down has lit a fire under my ass. And let me be clear, 
I have, and I've said this before, I have never had a story been walked back on me. In 15 years? Yes. Yeah. Never. Ever. Because we have direct sources. And you can take that however you want to take it. That means that somebody is in real close vicinity to the T. Otherwise, I wouldn't be putting my my name and my reputation in jeopardy. Right. For Wendy Williams or anybody. Okay? And let's be clear. There's no way we're going to sit here and make up something that's not true about Wendy Williams. About Wendy Williams. Of all people. Of all people. You have lost your mind. Who is she in this world? <laughs> She's someone who sent me a cease and desist order. That's who she is. With typos. With typos. I, just, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate their audacity for Wendy Williams to get on national television, run our exclusives. You're taking mm-hmm. our tea, the blogs, and then going on television and... In front of syndicated and, Fox And people. talking about it. Correct. Yes. yes. So y'all heard that. And the main point that I am making is that the truth was definitely out there. Wendy Williams and Kelvin tried to quiet it and send some lawyers after B. Scott. Trying to scare him into taking his story down, but he'd been in this business for a long time and there's no scaring him, okay? Hear me when I tell you, Love B. Scott is one of few blogs that are not in Wendy Williams' pocket, including myself. I'm just Shout out to B. Scott. So the point that I'm making when Wendy Williams says when she found out a few months ago that's when she wanted the divorce. No, it was because we found out, okay? In my opinion, she was always okay with everything that Kelvin did as long as we didn't find out. How you doing? But all right, y'all, I'm done with this and I want to know what y'all think. What do you guys think about Wendy Williams' most recent interview with Sway? Do you believe her or do you think she's lying? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and I'm going to catch you in the next one, alright? Bye!